Hi folks, Mr. Tesslonian here. What you're looking at in front of you is a hydrofoil hydroelectric generator design that I've been working on. I wanted to show you the single foil design before I alter it. This is a fully working design right here with a hydrofoil timing. We've got a larger flywheel in the background, a couple pulley wheels off of the drive shaft there so we can rotate a generator or something like that, water pump, whatever you need to use this for. Even without the second foil, this design right here is ready to go to be altered to whatever size you may need to produce electricity at the house with a single foil design. First of all, let's start at the top. What you see here is basically a flywheel. We have a caster wheel, which we've mounted our linkage rod down to the drive rod off of. That goes through some bushings. Off of the main caster pulley here, I've mounted a bolt through that. We've got a bushing over the bolt with a drive piece over the top of that with our main linkage rod coming down to our drive rod here. And all that does is kind of carries through just like that. Pretty simple. Down off of our drive rod goes through a guide tube here that I've kind of threaded into the piece of wood. Wood's easy to prototype with. That comes out through that and down to a hinge at the very back side of our hydrofoil here. Not up here in the front. This is the front leading edge of the foil. If I get the right perspective for you there, you can kind of see the shape of the foil right there on the edge. So we have a nice hydrofoil shape to that. It's stuck at a horizontal position due to these retainer springs, which are right here. You can see one at the top of the foil, one down here at the bottom of the foil. What the springs are doing is gonna keep the foil basically at a perfect horizontal whenever there's not tension from the drive rod or the water against the foil. And what that's doing is basically adding a little extra energy that I don't have to supply from my flywheel to help bring these foils back the opposite direction against the current flow so that the energy to do that isn't completely coming off of my uh, timing rod here. And I don't have to rob so much energy from the device. Those are mounted off of what I call the stops. And what these do is they stop the foil at a certain angle and make it so that once it hits those, it starts delivering energy to the drive rod. We can adjust where those are on either side of the foil so we can adjust the pitch of the foil at either side of the cycle. What we have here at the front of the foil is a timing rod and that's mounted right off the front face of the foil. I can give you some perspective on that. And what that does is changes the angle of the foil at different moments in timing. So let me go ahead and rotate this so you can see what I'm talking about. So it's gonna come up to the top of the cycle. Do you see the foil bend down right there? And then at the bottom of the cycle, the foil is gonna bend up just like this. So you can see it. And you don't need much of an angle shift to get these foils running. And you can see there as it goes through the cycle. So let's go ahead now and just kind of look up the device. Here we have one of the stops on the timing rod and that's just adjustable piece that slides up and down the timing rod a couple of screws through there so I can stop it where I want it so I can get the timing or the angle of my foils exactly right and you'll notice there's a couple guides another one of the stops here at the top if I go ahead and rotate this you'll notice that'll come up off of there and then it comes back down against that so that's the guide for a timing rod now one of the things that you may not see here without water pressure is that once the water hits the bottom edge of the foil at the bottom end of the stroke here, the pressure against the foil is going to keep the foil angled all the way through the stroke. It isn't going to just go back to horizontal with the springs. The water pressure is going to keep it angled until the very top. Once the top stop here impacts, it'll actually bend the front end of the foil down. The pressure against the foil from the water will keep that foil bent until it gets to the bottom of the cycle. It's not going to go back to a horizontal like you see right there due to the springs. All right, there you go, folks. That was the simplest way I could come up with to build a functioning hydrofoil hydroelectric generator design with timing that's adjustable. We can adjust whether we want to deliver a lot of torque or a lot of velocity with our stops and the return springs. With the drive rod and the timing rod design, we can now stack foils up and down this thing so we could have multiple foils with the same linkage rod going right down the outside edge of each one of the foils, making sure they all move in perfect unison with each other, giving us a lot of energy potential in a very limited amount of space. The next part of this project is to do exactly what you see right here on the back side, like I told you earlier, giving us a twin foil hydroelectric generator design that should be able to deliver 
usable energy from pretty minor amounts of water flows. Now once the water starts getting warm enough and stops freezing at night, we'll take this out and give the hydrofoil hydroelectric generator a test. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed.